It is another beautiful day. Stephen V. Richardson checking in. I am recording this message on Easter Sunday. And for those people who have followed me or who have received my coaching directly, you know that days like today, not only are days to celebrate and focus on, hopefully, the purpose of the holiday or special day, but also take advantage of this type of a day to continue to sow the seeds of strong, positive relationships that hopefully will continue to grow friendships, but also to potentially have some type of a positive business benefit. Uh, it's early in the morning, and I just want to walk you through what I I won't say typically do, I'll say always do when you come to, when we come to a quote unquote holiday or special day, whether it's Easter, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, sometimes it could be a Friday or the beginning of the month. I will always take advantage of those days, especially days like today, to reach out to as many people as I can. I was reflecting earlier on before I started this video to, I guess, realize that I'm the guy. I'm the guy who's always reaching out. I have been very fortunate to interact with a lot of great people over my 30 plus years as a professional. And there are people who I worked with 30 years ago. There are people who I went to school with, whether it's college or even high school, that I'm the guy who sends messages out just to say, hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy whatever. Look forward to reconnect sometime soon. I'm that guy. And while I know that there are, let's just say, potential business possibilities as a result of sending those messages out, my intent is, let's just say, sincere and true. That I really just want to continue to maintain a relationship with people who I interact with and people who I care about. Now, we'll, 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 st we'll stay on the positive note because I'm, I'm Mr. Positive Guy. Uh, so far this morning, I have close to, actually probably over 90, probably close to 100 responses that I've received so far uh, over the last 12 to 24 hours. On a weekend like this, I will typically start on the Friday or Saturday. I didn't really start till yesterday. So with just one day in the books and one full day left, I will probably interact with two, 300 people. And it's just fascinating. I will send messages out during the year, just random. Maybe it's just, hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Look forward to reconnect sometime soon. I'll send those messages out, and a lot of times I will get zero response. Now, I have zero negative, let's just say, perspective or reaction to that because I have no idea. I have no idea if this person actually received the message, probably did. I have no idea if they actually received the message. I have no idea what was going on when they received it. I have no idea what intention they had with regards to possibly responding or getting back to me. I have no idea what's going on in, in, in people's lives that would cause them to not respond to a friendly greeting from somebody who hopefully they have a positive memory about. But I'm the guy who continue to send out message after message after message. On a typical weekend like this, it requires an investment. Now, I have a lot, a lot going on, so I'm not sitting in one place just sending out messages, so I'll do it over a course of a time, but even when I'm sitting down, it will take a good two, maybe three hours to do what I believe I not only need to do, but also want to do. And I believe that that is 
my effort to sow positive seeds on fertile ground and, and see what happens. And even if it's just somebody thinking about me, somebody knowing that I thought about them, that is more than enough. And for those people who actually do respond, then those are the people who I will quote unquote follow up with to see if we might be able to interact. And I can understand what's been going on in their life and how they're doing and who knows, maybe if they're looking to, to achieve something, to do something or partner with somebody and, and that possibly could be an opportunity to you know, build some business. But as I remind myself every single day, whether it's with social media, whether it's with the text messages that I send out, most of them are either video messages, which are the, there, there is a high, in, in my mind, there's a hierarchy of communication. At one extreme, not doing anything. And nine times out of 10, probably close to 99 times out of 100, that relationship is over. Because people have things going on, people have people in their lives, and that relationship is probably over if one person on one side of the relationship is not the one who actively reaches out. I guess I'm the one. So you have no response. Then you have maybe a blast. Oh, these, this, is, this is one of my, I won't say a pet peeve, but then there's the, the Facebook blast that we just said, here's wishing all of, my fam all of my friends a happy Easter. At least you made the effort. Uh, but there's zero personal connection and congratulations. You took five seconds and sent out a blast to the world and there, there's no real connection. That's one. Another is, is a direct message, whether it's directly to a person, you know, via Facebook or Instagram or, or maybe a text message that just has the text part that says something, but it's still pretty generic. Then there's the one that actually uses the person's name or maybe says something that's special. Maybe you call them something that you normally don't call other people like brother or bro or, or buddy or sister, those type of things. Maybe say something specific about the name of a family member to make it more connection. Uh, if you are receiving this or looking this, you'll know that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a visual kind of guy. I want you to see my smiling face. Um, so I'll usually send some type of a a photo message just so you can see maybe it's a picture of me and my family you just picture just of me uh, just smiling with maybe some type of interesting background just so you can see because the, the goal of relationships and the goal of business is for people to be thinking about you because here's the key as I was saying uh, to myself every single day and to others if someone is not thinking about you consciously at that moment basically in their world, you do not exist. And I'll say it again. If somebody is not consciously thinking about you, you do not exist. You don't exist in their world. So that's why it's so important for me to have a presence out there online, but also to send direct message to people because I want people to think about me. Maybe it's just a friend. I need love too. And here's something I'll just sneak in this little video in the middle. Not many people see this, that's okay. How am I gonna say this? I don't have many friends. Now, possibly, most people don't have many friends. But I think compared to the average person, I don't have very, maybe, I won't put any numbers on it, let's just say, an extremely, extremely small number of friends. Now, possibly it's my definition of a friend. Um, somebody who's not only always there, but somebody who is thinking about you, somebody who will reach out to you, somebody who will respond to you, who knows, maybe somebody who might support you, somebody who will invite you. Would, would you believe it is, it is 2019 I can't remember, and I'm saying this for a point, and it's definitely not for, for anybody to feel sorry for because it's, it's all good. 2019, I'm trying to think 
outside of one person. I'm trying to think if I was invited to almost anything in the past 10 years. That's possible. Now I'm thinking about a few things and some people who might see this say, hey, I invite you to this, I invite you to that. So yet yeah, there, there, there are a, a couple of times with a couple of people, two or three people, who might have invited me to something, but typically I'm just not the guy. For whatever reason, to be invited to a Super Bowl party, to a Easter celebration, to an event, to a go out and just hang out, to a sport. I'm just not the guy. I don't know. I mean, I have my I have my ideas. Uh, part of it was just because you know I had my head down for just a long time and worked so hard and, and just didn't have groups that I was that I was associated with not an active member of a church, not really an active member of an organization. I just, you know, interact with people and, and whatever, you know, organization I've been a part of always built the strong relationships that I like to do and, and, are, and are good at doing, but I, I just have not been the guy. So I'm, I'm just saying this, I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you all that to tell you this. Even though I have not been on the receiving end of very many calls, are very many text messages that I have not initiated. Even though I rarely, if ever, receive an invitation to something, I'm still the guy who's going to reach out to other people. That's just who I am. And I'm not saying that's better or worse than anything else. That's just who I am. And as a result, I've actually been able to, to build a pretty successful business that is built on people knowing me and people liking me and people uh, you know, wanting to either do business with me, support me, part with me, all those kind of good things. But it requires effort on at least one side of the equation. So a little bit of a ramble uh, for this one. But the real point that I wanted to make is if you have a business or a job that requires people to know who you are, and requires people to think about you. So they might be willing to be your customer, be maybe a business partner, be a referral, or maybe just send you their positive thoughts and maybe even prayers. Then it's going to require work on your side. And my strongest initial recommendation is a especially on days like today, on a holiday, when people are off, when people are with their family, when people are not thinking about the stress of the world, even though today's Sunday, which means people are going back to work tomorrow and they have their own various thoughts and feelings about doing that. But sending messages out with no, with, with no strings attached. I don't say, hey, this is Steven, hope you're doing well. Really look forward to having a meeting with you to see if I'm out. I don't do any of that stuff. All I do is say hi. To get back on someone's radar, to really see, you know, what our relationship really is at that point. But once again, I don't judge because I don't know what's going on in those people's lives. I just want them to know that my intent is good and that I'm one consistent dude. And if you're seeing this and you haven't received a message from me, just know I'm, I won't say I'm doing the best I can, but I'm, I'm doing a lot. And when you have a contact base that has thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people uh, with no real rhyme or reason uh, with regards to who I, I reach out to, it's, it's relatively random. And sometimes it's alphabetical, either from the top or from the bottom, which means there are a lot of people who I am not able to, or who I have not reconnected with yet. But at least I'm doing, I'm doing my share. So especially for those people who consider me to be your success coach and mentor and hopefully maybe even friend, recommendation for you. 
while. You definitely deserve your, your rest and relaxation on, on a day like today. And you possibly, hopefully, are surrounded by family and friends. These are the times that if you reached out to as many people as you could with a direct, hopefully personal message. Now, there's a lot of copy and pasting, even though every single message is personal. Um, good things will benefit. I have reconnected. As of now, I think I said that the number is over 100. While I'm recording this, I received a couple more. And I have many, many more to send out today. And I'm excited to get back to the people who popped their head above the radar and said, Hey, Steve, how you doing? Or Happy Easter to you. And who knows where those conversations and rekindling of relationships will, will go. So I wish you a very happy and grateful day. I appreciate you for being part of my journey.